And we have Mr. Nick Gepper to my right here from Lawrenceburg, Indiana, uh, Olympic bronze medalist uh, from Sochi and Slope Style. Uh, we're going to open up with a question for Caroline Clare. Probably one of the more competitive individuals I've ever met. Uh, he had a bronze, a bronze medal in the Sochi Slope Style. Uh, Nick, I'd just love to know what it means for you to have a chance to improve on that medal here in Pyeongchang. Uh, first of all, it's always an immense pleasure to be up here and compete and ski with all these individuals. We've all worked really hard to get here, and I'm deeply in love with this sport and what it's done for my life and I want to make sure that we showcase it on the world stage in the right light and I'm really excited to do that. I had a bronze medal in Sochi and so um, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a little chip on my shoulder and, and want to better that this time around. And being the only Winter Olympic medalist from Indiana representing the Midwest, I'd like to bring another medal back home to the Hoosiers. I've been spending a lot of time in the Athlete Village and also you mentioned my family's here. They are here and it's been great to see them. We reconvene every night at the PNG Family Home for dinner, which is a great place for everyone to just come together and hang out, relax, enjoy some company and it's a much more relaxed atmosphere. A typical day is I usually wake up, do my little morning workout routine, get some breakfast, and then I'll, um, I'll try, I, try, I usually try and fill the day up with, with something, whether it be like reading or working out or going and seeing something, seeing the family, going skiing like I did today. I try and uh, exclude all idle time. I listen to music all the time. Do you have a certain song, certain playlist that you'll be listening to? when you're competing? Lately I've been getting nostalgic about what I started listening to when I was really young, like 10, 11, 12, and the first CD that my dad ever bought me was Linkin Park Hybrid Theory. So I actually just re-downloaded that and I've been listening to that a lot lately. Will this be your first time that you listen to that during a competition? Yes. And how, does your, how do you think your father feels about that? Does he know? Oh man, I know that he despised the music that came off the CD when he bought it for me, but I just felt so rebellious and so like <laughs> great listening to it. Um, and RIP to that guy. <laughs> The Ralph Lauren gear is always amazing, super good looking. Um, this Nike kit's looking really good too, and I mean all our Team USA gear is, is cool. We get to processing and we get bags and bags of stuff, um, just jackets and pants and shoes and everything that we'll just be able to keep for the rest of our lives and, and just remember is that time in Korea. I really love the culture and the people here. It's, um, I, had a, I had a good time in Sochi. I was young and I wasn't quite as tra well-traveled as, as I am now. Um, but I'm just really stoked on the Koreans, on, on the accommodating uh, people. And I just, I, I love this place. It was, it's cold. It's cold. It's really cold. It wasn't as cold last time we were here. It was kind of like spring, spring-like conditions, but it's not, it's, it just feels like winter. There hasn't been much winter in the States lately, so especially in the West, in Colorado and Utah. So coming here and it being like a humid, frigid cold is uh, something that I've adapted to. 